Hey, hey everyone, welcome back again this week and thank you for joining me. Guess what I realized the other day? I have more than 5,000 views on my videos now. Thank you so much for liking, subscribing, and watching my videos. I hope they are helpful. This week we are continuing on with animal totems. Pay attention to the animals that you see. They can help you make decisions, help guide you in life. If you see an animal, look it up. Say hawk animal totem, T-O-T-E-M. Just Google it and see what you see. Learn what you learn. And today we are continuing with the medicine cards, the discovery of power through the ways of animals by Jamie Sands and David Carson. Here they are right here. And today, what came out of the deck? You know what? We're getting kind of close to being toward the end of the deck. Bat. And you know what? I gotta tell you something. There's a ton of little bats over there at the uh, Hotel Casadega. And they come out every night and they go back every morning, I guess. And so here we go. The bat is about rebirth. Steeped in the mystery of Mesoamerican tribal ritual, is the legend of Bat. Akin to the ancient Buddhist belief in reincarnation in Central America, Bat is the symbol of rebirth. The Bat has for centuries been a treasured medicine of the Aztecs, Toltec, Tolkien, and Mayan peoples. Bat embraces the idea of shamanistic death the ritual death of the healer is steeped in secrets and highly involved initiation rites. Shaman death is a symbolic death of the initiate to the old ways of life and personal identity. The initiation that brings the right to heal and to be called shaman is necessarily preceded by ritual death. Most of these rituals are brutally hard on the body, mind, and spirit. In light of today's standards, it can be very difficult to find a person who can take the abuse and come through it with their balance intact. The basic idea of ancient initiations was to break down all the former notions of self that were held by the shaman to be. This could entail brutal tests of physical strength and psychic ability, and having every emotional button pushed hard. Taunting and spitting on the initiate was common, and taught him or her to endure the duress with humility and fortitude. The final initiation step was to be buried in earth for one day and to be reborn without the former ego in the morning. This ritual is very similar to the night of fear practiced by natives of Turtle Island. In this ritual, the shaman-to-be is sent to a certain location to dig his or her grave and spend the night in the womb of Mother Earth totally alone with the mouth of the grave covered by a blanket. Darkness and the sounds of animals prowling quickly confronts the initiate with his or her fears. As the darkness of the grave has its place in this ritual, so does the cave of bat. Hanging upside down is a symbol for learning to transpose your former self into a newborn being. This is also the position that babies assume when they enter the world from the womb of, mom, of a woman. If bat has appeared in your cards today, it symbolizes the need for a ritualistic death of some way of life that no longer suits your new growth pattern. This can mean a time of letting go of old habits and of assuming the position in life that prepares you for rebirth, or in some cases, initiation. In every case, bad signals rebirth of some part of yourself or the death of old patterns. If you resist your destiny, it can be a long drawn out or painful death. The universe is always asking you to grow and become your future. To do so, you must die the shaman's death. I hope you enjoyed it this week.
take care.